Hi students, today's topic is digestive glands. Right? Previously we learned about uh, digestive system. Now what are the glands that are essential for the digestion of uh, food material? Further, see here, now I am going to discuss about digestive glands. These glands are different kinds. And the first one is a gastric gland. Gastric gland. And second one is the intestinal gland. Intestinal glands. Here these two are present inside the wall of the alimentary canal. Rest of are there, we call it as the associated glands, which are the salivary gland. Salivary glands and liver. And last one is the pancreas. Pancreas. See, these are the, these two are present in the alimentary canal, wall of the alimentary canal in the different locations and these three are the associated glands. It means they are opened into the alimentary canal with the tubes. Got it? See salivary glands and levo and the pancreas. Now we are going to learn about gastric glands. First one is the gastric glands. Here see gastric glands which are located in the wall of the stomach. Beneath the wall of the stomach we can find the gastric glands. These are three kinds. How many kinds? Three. Here first one is I want to write here first gastric gland is the cardiac gland. Cardiac Cardiac gland. Second one is pyloric gland. These are the pyloric, pyloric glands. Last one is a fundic glands. These are the three types of glands which are present in the stomach, the beneath the stomach wall. Here see cardiac glands which can secrete the mucus. Mucus. Right? That is the mucus layer which helps to protect the ACL axon. Right? Now pyloric glands secrete mucus and one more hormone also will be released here. This is the gastrin, right? Mucus plus gastrin, which are released from the pyloric gland. Whereas fundic glands, these fundic glands have a three kinds of cells. How many kinds? Three kinds of cells. Here, first one is the neck cells neck cells and second type are the sieve cells sieve cells what is it? that the third kind is parietal right fundic glands which have a three kinds of cells in that first one is neck cell, second is the chief cells and the third is the parietal cells. Now what are the secretions? Neck cell secretes mucus, got it? Chief cells secretes proenzymes, what is that? Proenzymes. 
these are the pro agents you know pro renin and pepsinogen pro agents what are they you know here pepsinogen and pro renin which are secreted from the chief cells of fundic glands correct next parietal cells which secretes the hcl and castile intrinsic factor castile's intrinsic factor see this castile intrinsic factor which absorbs the vitamin b12 from our food that is the function of castile intrinsic factor which is useful to absorb the vitamin b12 right that gastric gland the total secretion called as a gastric juice which have a ph of gastric juice is 0.8 0.1.9 this is a highly acidic in nature next we we'll move for the intestinal glands second one is the intestinal glands which located in a wall of intestine you know that intestine starts from the end of the stomach which is the uh, pyloric sphincter there you know from that means duodenum jejunum and ileum now here intestinal glands intestinal gland secretion is known as a intestinal juice the secretions of intestinal glands known as a intestinal juice intestinal juice which is known as a succus endricus succus endricus right succus endricus nothing but intestinal juice right on is only in this ear they have asked one objective in the meat here succus endricus consist of the two types of ear duct glands which are the brunus glands first one is a brunus gland second one is a crypts of leverkusen crypts of these two produce the intestinal juice that is nothing but succus endricus nothing but succus endricus now see here these brunus glands and crypts of leverkusen they produce the peptidases peptidases what are the peptidases means that succus endricus consist of peptidases which are the tripeptidases tripeptidases and dipeptidases and amino peptidases amino peptidases found in the succus endricus along with that they they have a disaccharides there disaccharides are present which are the lactase lactase and maltase sucrase these are present in the succus endricus it means intestinal juice and moreover it does have very little amount of intestinal lipase and 